guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today is going to be a vlog type video i'm going to be seeing how many books i can read in 24 hours i am not doing a 24 hour readathon like i'm not starting the timer now and then just like ending it tomorrow i'm seeing how many books i read in 24 hours so this is obviously going to take me a couple days um but i did start last night and i got about two and a half hours in i would say something like that but I did finish a book and I'll talk to you about it right now just so I can get my thoughts out there but we're gonna obviously go to the clips that I did last night <laughs> finished reading was All Roads Lead Here by Maria Zapata. I started reading this book like about a week ago I'm pretty sure but I just haven't read because when I usually come home from break and stuff here I like to spend time with my family. I like to spend time with my best friend. I usually don't read as much but that's okay. I don't really mind um but I did finish this book last night and I gave it a five stars. I love this book. I was completely into the story and I didn't expect to love it as much because slow burns aren't my favorite while I do like them sometimes it can get like agonizing. Mariana Zapata did such a good job at leaving so many tiny hints that I feel like she didn't do in her other book. I read From Luke Off With Love and definitely enjoyed it but didn't love it as much as this one because I feel like there just wasn't as many crumbs. There wasn't as many like tiny things that the male main character did for the female main character that definitely occurred in this book and I also love the friendship between the female main character Aurora and the male main character Rhodes's son Amos. I love their relationship. I thought it was really really cute and it added a found family aspect where they were accepting her as family and all of that stuff. I really really enjoyed it. But yeah, I really love this book. I gave it a five stars. It is one of my most annotated books ever just because I felt like so many scenes were so important to the growth and the story of Rhodes and Aurora's relationship that I absolutely loved it. I cannot even say anything bad about this book. I thought it was amazing and even though it's a relatively long book, I completely recommend it to everyone. This book is small town romance, slow burn obviously, and it is a single parent trope. It's basically every single trope I ever want in a book, so maybe that's why I loved it so much, but I highly recommend you read this right now. <laughs> So yeah, that's the book I finished last night. So we're only about two and a half hours in. I will show you the book that I'm going to be starting next. It's one of the new books that I got. If you want to see all the new books that I got, I will be posting a book haul before this one. So go check that out on my channel. The book that I'm going to be starting is If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nowlin. Nolan. Um, this book, I've been so influenced by Sarah Caroli. I just wanted it so bad. And also I've been in a sad era. And I really just want to sob and cry and scream at books. And I hear this one's really sad, so we'll see if it gets me. Um, I do cry at books very frequently, so I feel like all of these books are definitely going to make me sob. But yeah, so this is the book I will be starting with. Oh, so, yeah, I'll let you know when I start reading again and when I start the timer. <laughs> um this might be the worst lighting ever but we're just gonna have to deal i am putting the book down for the night guys so we're now at four hours i read for two hours tonight um and i got to page 103 that's pretty on par for me i read about 50 pages per hour i seem to not be getting any faster even though i read like more than six books a month so i don't understand but anyways, I don't really have any strong feelings and thoughts about this book so far. I'm only 100 pages in. Um, but yeah, I so far it's not sad. So I guess I'll update you on the sadness. I don't even know how to explain it without spoiling it, so I'm not going to talk about it. But I don't know. I don't think I'll cry. So far, I'm not really attached to the characters. Let's just say that. But I'm only 100 pages in, so that probably will definitely change. That's what I've read tonight um and i'll see you tomorrow when i read more so we're four hours in we have 20 hours to go <sighs> that's a little insane that's a little crazy and insane but let's do it <laughs> Ok 
okay guys so we're six hours in um i read for two hours today i made it to page 202 in my book so i'm a little bit halfway i think i'm exactly halfway through i'm pretty sure this is where i am and i am not having any strong emotions i'm really scared for the ending i'm scared it's gonna break me um but i'm enjoying it i am want to finish it tonight we'll see if i actually end up finishing it but i am gonna start reading relatively soon so that's where we're at with this book i don't really have anything to say i don't want to spoil anything it's a little bit sad because i know something tragic is going to happen at the end so obviously i'm taking everything very cautiously but so far it's not bad but that's all i really have to say about it right now but i'll update you more if i have any really big thoughts or if i sob and cry you'll definitely see that if i end up crying so don't no one talk to me this quality is really bad i'm filming so i can look at myself because this is like tragic the way i look no one fucking talk to me no one talk to me i'm angry i'm upset but i'm so angry and I knew this was coming. I could see it. I could see it. I could see it. I could see it. I'm so angry. Okay. I am. I don't even know how long I've been reading. Like I'm on, almost on page 300. I'm going to finish this book tonight. Anyways, I'm going to continue reading. I'm just, I got really angry. I'm on page 291. So if you read this book, you know. Anyways. <laughs> That's what happened to him. That is cruel. That is not nice. Huh? Oh my God. I'm going to throw up. I, I need to keep reading. I'm almost done. If you ask me if I'm okay, I'm gonna tell you no. Because I went into this knowing exactly what I signed up for. I knew, I knew the ending. Did I know how it was gonna happen? Absolutely not. That was horrible and cruel. Whoever the, wrote that, Laura. That was horrible and cruel. And also the ending, like, ew, don't look at me. That just like, amplifies the entire thing and i'm not gonna read it from his point of view because i will throw up i'm so sick i can't oh i actually feel nauseous oh my god i i don't even know what to rate it i'm like not even gonna rate it right now i really do feel sick is this normal in this book it didn't it is so sad but i really no one deserved anything that they got in that book like they did not um and obviously i picked this book up knowing it was sad like i did this to myself i didn't pick this up thinking it was gonna be a good time okay i knew it was gonna be sad but like why am i shocked that i'm crying but like i think i'm gonna be okay i don't think it's gonna ruin my mental health we'll see okay i've been reading for eight hours so this is our second book finished it's monday I like binge read this all today basically. Anyways, I stopped thinking about it. Hey, if you're wondering, it's been 20 minutes and I'm still here cradling this book. I've been watching TikToks and crying in intervals. I think I'm gonna stop crying for now. I don't know what I'm gonna rate it. I still haven't, I need to give it the morning because it's just too much for me right now. I need to go to bed because i fear my mental health is deteriorating by the second <laughs> so thank you laura thank you laura everyone say thank you laura for reading my mental health anyways this is the second book we finished in this video oh my god i need to go to bed anyways So, so i'm gonna update you i started scarred today i just have been wanting to read the series and i couldn't stop thinking about it so i was like i'm gonna pick it up um and i got about 80 well not about i got 86 pages into it i'm on chapter 13 and i'm loving it i am so entertained i honestly can't think of anything else but reading right now but i have so many other priorities like doing my homework and studying for my test tomorrow we are exactly 10 hours into the challenge and we are currently on book three I just want to update you on where I was. I will see you when I read tonight. Hopefully, I, well, yeah, I am gonna read, but it might not be for long. So, okay, 
I have a headache, but I have been looking forward to reading in my bed all day, so I'm not going to let a headache stop me. Um, because I just almost had a mental breakdown studying for a test where I don't know anything at all. So we're going to see how that goes tomorrow. You know what? That's what's giving me a headache, so I need to stop thinking about it. Anyways, I'm picking this book back up. As I said, I was on chapter 13, page 86, and we're going to read some, probably for about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know. Peace out. I look insane, but I cannot believe this man just said this. I'm not spoiling anything, really, I don't think. And if I am, skip a little bit, but he just said, I'd like to draw you just like this with your face kissing the stars. I think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Stop. Don't play with me. And then he goes, I'm saying you could drive a man insane. Make him raise the world just to see you smile. I'm so down bad for this man. Like, and it's actually insane. Like, I think my parents and my entire family would put me in the hospital. Um, because he's a killer. <laughs> he's a little cuckoo. And I'm like, hand in marriage. Hand in marriage. Anyways, I'm really enjoying it. I'll update you. It's like 10, probably closer to 10.30. And I'm on page 156. I'll talk to you when I actually put it away, though. Okay guys, so I am exactly 50% through and I'm done reading for the night. I'm really, really tired. Um, I am at page, just one sec. I'm at page 197. That's where we're at and I'm going to give you my thoughts on this book so far. I love it. I love this book. Um, It's everything I wanted from this book, literally. Okay, when I read Hooked probably about a couple months ago. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan. I enjoyed a lot of it, but I just felt like the main dude was like kind of insufferable, just a little tad. And I felt like he didn't have that many redeeming qualities. Um, so I was like, should I be rooting for him? I will say Emily McIntyre does spicy scenes so well. Um, and this one is exceeding all my expectations. I'm so glad I got this series. This one is amazing. It's such a slow burn, but it's like such a good slow burn. Like it's, it's just like so good. And I feel like he has more redeeming qualities than, I forget his name. I forget the dude's name in Hooked. But I feel like um, Tristan has so many more redeeming qualities than the dude in Hooked. He didn't have that many redeeming qualities, but Tristan does. So I'm living for him, loving him want to marry him um and i think sarah is a queen i think she's doing what needs to be done and i think she holds her own she's such a strong independent character and i love that about her um and yeah i think the whole concept is really interesting of like getting the throne and like all of that stuff i really like that part um it's interesting that it's in a different time royalty like yada 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 i think that's really interesting as well so lots of things going on in this book that i love so i'm really enjoying it <laughs> it's such an entertaining read i haven't read a book that just like entertained me and i wasn't looking for more depth like this is just like such an entertaining book like i need to read so many more dark romances this is what it's telling me because i'm living for this so that's where we're at with Scarred. I might finish this tomorrow <laughs> um, because I just want to keep reading it. But I don't know if I will finish it tomorrow. I have to study for another exam tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at for Tuesday. And also, I forgot to mention that we're also currently halfway through the challenge. So we're 50% through Scarred and we're exactly 12 hours through the challenge so we're halfway through we only have 12 more hours left so we might be able to finish like two more books in this challenge that's where we're at thanks so much i'll see you tomorrow when i read more really bad quality again sorry guys i love you all please forgive me um 
I haven't updated you in so long. I don't think I updated you at all today. And I don't remember the last time I updated you. So it's really bad, actually. But I want you guys to know I'm on page 296 of Scarred. Um, I will be finishing it tonight. There's no question about it. I will be finishing it. Um, I'm loving it. He could marry me. He could marry me. And I would be like, thank you. Thank you. Please give me a chance. Like, I know he's not a good person. So toxic. So bad. But, like, I'm sitting here and I'm, like, waiting for him to, like, get down on one knee and, like, propose to me. Like, hello. Where is the proposal? Where is this? Because I need it in my life. That's enough. I love the relationship. I think they're literally made for each other. I love that she's so independent. And I love that he, like, literally is so in love with her. Like, he is the ultimate simp. Like, he will do anything for her. He literally will do anything for her. Like, I mean, serious. Like, will do anything. I mean, I love that. Like, where can I find a man like that? Can't wait to finish it. It's a four star. I'm pretty darn sure. Because I have been eating this up. I started this yesterday, guys. Yesterday. Also, we are... Let me think. Let me think. Let me look. We are currently 15 hours into the challenge. Okay, I read for three hours today because I read for two hours during my break. An hour, like, randomly because I didn't want to study. So I just picked up my book and read for an hour. That's where we are. Yes. Um, and I'll let you know how I think about the end. Because I know I'm gonna love it. Love them so much. Like, Emily McIntyre really did them good. Really did them good. Mm -hmm. I literally, and I'm not kidding, giggled and kicked my feet seriously. Like, that joke is no longer becoming a joke. I actually just did it. Because tell me why he wreaked havoc. Like wreaked havoc like i mean go cuckoo bananas because of her when will a man do that for me i can't even have a man look in my direction what the hell i'm loving them <laughs> he will do anything for her and i'm living for it i'm living for it oh my god i'm almost done though that's actually really sad i'm on page 366 i've been reading for like an hour now and i'm almost done I'm really sad about it, actually. But we're, what, 16 hours in now? Because I read for an hour? So, yeah. Okay. Here I am. Back. Because we have finished our... Well, I guess I technically... This is the third book on the video. I read for 16 hours and 30 minutes. Our, we're there. Um, finished Scarred. I'm definitely giving this book a four stars. I absolutely enjoyed it. I don't know what it was about it, but I think I read this book much faster than I usually read books. Maybe it was the escapism of it because it's like a made up land. I think that's like one of the main things. And also I was so addicted to Sarah and Tristan. I needed to know what happened immediately. I never wanted to put this book down and I essentially don't really think I ever really did. I read this every chance I could get in classes sometimes when I should have been studying all things that could harm my grade. I give it four stars. Um, if you don't know what this book is about, it's essentially dark romance, just be so aware of that. Um, Tristan is jealous of his brother Michael, who is the king, and Sarah goes to marry Michael, who is Tristan, her love interest's brother. It's a slow burn. I mean, they don't get together very fast. Um, and the, the spice is the spice is good y'all but emily mcintyre never fails on her spice let me tell you let me tell you i ate this up i started it yesterday and she's done and this book is like almost 400 pages um yeah that's my review i will talk more about it in my wrap up that i do at the end of this month but that's the third book done we're 16 hours and 30 minutes in how many more hours do we have? Let's do some math. We have about seven hours and 30 minutes left, which I could finish one more book in that time. So we'll see. Okay. Actually, now that we're here together, um, and I talked about this book, I'm gonna um, pick out a book together because I need a book for tomorrow because I literally never leave my dorm without a book. I'm not 
going to read Wretched. I want to read that. Like, I want to space out my dark romances because I don't have that many. I only have Wretched and Twisted left for dark romances. And I want to space them out. I don't want to read them back to back. Um, because I just know I'm going to want to read dark romances later. Um, when I get sick of romance. So we're gonna not do that. And I don't really want to read my sad books. So I feel like maybe next I can read In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. Because, like, it's a pr relatively thick book. The font is, like, not big. Um, so this could... Hello? Bikini. Anyways. Um, that's her name. There's no way her... The way that I just... Her last name is most definitely not Zucchini. What the? I think I need to go to bed. I'm actually insanely tired. I think I need to go to bed. This is the book we're picking up. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said her last name was Zucchini. I need to go to bed. Thursday, so I'm going to update you on my reading. We are 17 hours and 30 minutes into this, but I read some of this today. Um, I read this for about an hour. I'm on chapter 3, page 43. I'm only 43 pages in, so I don't really have that many strong feelings, but I will say the representation, this character is mid-size slash plus size. Um, and I love that. Like, I am loving that. I've been looking for a book where the character is, like, mid-size or plus-size. Um, and it's not, like, the entire plot point. Because as a mid-size person, I am really looking for books that, like, have a main character that looks like me. But it isn't, like, a plot point or it's not, like, a conflict. I just want a mid-size, plus-size person where it's not, like, a big thing. It's just mentioned and then that's it and this so far has it I don't know if it turns into that I will get very angry <laughs> but I honestly don't think so but I really like that aspect so that's that um and I'm gonna start reading soon probably gonna read for about two hours two or three hours um and I'll let you know <laughs> done reading for the night it is like 10 40 something um i'm currently 19 hours and 40 minutes into this challenge closing the book i have read 140 pages today i read for like three hours and like 10 minutes today um i just let's talk about the book for right now i am enjoying it i like it um i just think i was not in a reading mood today and I read it anyways. Um, obviously when I started reading, I got into it, but some parts I was just like kind of not interested. We were only 140 pages in though. Um, so nothing's really happening, but stuff is happening, but like not really happening. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Also, I just wanna let you know, I'm a sucker for a kid in a story. I think it makes the male main character especially more, I just love male main characters when they're either a single dad or have a soft spot for the male, for the female main character's like child i love a single dad like i just think like the male main character is so much like nicer my heart is literally like on the floor like it's like i just i love that so that's in this book and i'm enjoying that as i said i'm enjoying the mid-size plus size representation loving that not making it in a way in which we see her being insecure she has not mentioned once of her insecurities or feeling like her body is not good enough. And I love that. I think more representation of mid-size plus size bodies should be in contemporary no romance novels. It's usually always, they have curves in all the right places and flat stomach, big boobs, like clear complexion. Like I'm just like, girls, why are we describing them? always is that i just don't and i really really appreciate that this book is doing it but not in an in your face type of way it's just like saying she has 
stomach rolls and he is like it's just I really like the way they're doing that and it's making me appreciate this book so much more because I just feel like I can relate to her body type and I just love that. I'm that far through, not that much. Um, hoping to get more than halfway through tomorrow or something because tomorrow we could finish. We only have about four hours left so and I usually read four hours each day. But yeah, have a, have a great sleep even though I'm going to sleep, you're not so. Anyways, peace out. So we are currently 20 hours into the challenge. I am still reading in a jam. I am currently on page 184, chapter 14. So we're a little under halfway through the book. I do feel as though not a lot is happening but like i'm not complaining like I'm, I'm enjoying the atmosphere i'm enjoying it all but like i just feel like not a lot is happening but it's kind of like a slow burn ishy thing so just warning you not a lot's happening um and it was marriage of convenience it is marriage of convenience single dad small town like all of that so i do love that i do love that aspect um yeah we're 20 hours and like something minutes in I would love to be able to finish this book in the four hours that we have left. Um, I definitely won't though. I am not that fast of a reader. So that's not going to happen, but we're going to get a really good chunk. We're going to be like basically finished. So yeah, this is the fourth book of the video. And I just wanted to update you on where we're at. And I'll see you when I start reading again. Four hours left, y'all. Isn't this crazy? Okay, hey guys. It's currently 10 p.m. Um, and I'm on page 244, chapter 20 of In a Jam. Um, and I have some thoughts. Um, we are 21 hours and 30 minutes into this. So I'm probably going to read another 30 minutes and then go to bed. Um, but I just want to talk because I'm more than halfway through through this book, okay? I'm more than halfway through. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm not enjoying this that much. I really honestly cannot tell you. I feel like it's because um, I'm not connecting with the characters at all. Like, I just feel no connection. And that could be because it's not like, I think in a previous clip I said it's like a slow burn. And it's definitely not. <laughs> in no way is it a slow burn. I completely regret saying that. I almost feel as though that it's like, it's not insta-lovey. They've known each other for like a long time. They went to high school together. So I feel like because of that background, it, it feels like an insta-love. He's like, it feels like they both are just like, yes, I'm so attracted to it. Like, I'm going to be invested in the relationship. If I'm going to be rooting for you and actually care if you guys get together i need groveling i need tension i need a build-up and this just doesn't feel like a build-up yes are they technically together no it's marriage convenience they have stipulations and rules to their marriage okay are they technically together no absolutely not but it feels like they are it just feels like it like because they're friends it just feels like it and for me i love a grovel i love tension i love enemies to lovers like that is just what i like to get invested into a relationship into root for them and i think that's one of the main problems why i'm not really loving this book to me it just feels a little flat i feel like are they hanging out all the time yes but like i honestly it just it feels like i've read nothing it feels like i haven't read much and i'm more than halfway through with the book so that's a little odd i just i don't know because i feel like we went into this book and it was pretty obvious his feelings because it says on the back he's been in love with her forever so it's pretty obvious his feelings from the start and then she she acknowledges it very fast and i'm also like i want to know their backstory but like is it significant 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. I'm just not loving it like I thought I would, which is really disappointing. It's really disappointing. Um, very much so because I really thought I would love this. Maybe it gets better. I'm holding out hope that it gets better. I really hope it does. Um, but we'll see, I guess. Um, because I feel like the thing that was supposed to be built up to just happened and it felt anticlimactic to me. I feel like it's just me and my preferences that I don't love this book. Um, even though all the tropes are exactly what I love. I just feel like it's me and my preferences. So it's just my opinion. If you love this book, I love it for you. I can see why you love it. Um, I love parts of this book. I'm not going to say I don't like the entire thing so far. I love parts of it. So that's that. Um, I just wanted to update you on that. So I'm going to see you tomorrow when I inevitably finish this challenge. But we're 21 hours and 30 something minutes. So we have about two and a half hours left. So we have about two and a half hours left. We're on the home stretch, y'all. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I start reading again and finish this and hopefully make it almost through this book what we have left y'all we're we're getting through we are getting through i was gonna talk to you and then we had a fire alarm so Please, I can't deal with them anymore. But anyways, if I look horrible, don't mind it. It's Sunday. So this is just my rough day. In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. I've talked about my thoughts and my thoughts have not changed. I'm still not that interested. I'm not that connected with the characters. And honestly, I'm just hoping for this book to end. Obviously, I'm going to finish it today. But like, I just am begging for it to end. It did not have to be this long. Um, it was kind of dull. Even though I haven't finished, I know the ending's not going to be enough to, like, revive it. So, honestly, in my eyes, it's, like, a 3, 3.5. It's not the best. Um, but I was entertained relatively. It was, like, not bad. I'm not going to give it a two-star or a one-star. It's not a bad book. I just feel like it was a little dull and lacked, lacked, I don't know, something. There was a lot in this book, but nothing at the same time. It was so confusing. I just really didn't like it all that much. Um... The spicy scenes were great, love them, um, but that's about it. <laughs> I do love the relationship, but I just feel like I'm not connected with it. Do I think it's cute? Absolutely. But am I connected? No. So those are my feelings. I'm not going to go on a whole rant. I already did that <laughs> in the last clip, so we've made it this far. So that's my feelings on that. So I'm going to give you a little wrap up on all the books I read in the 24 hours. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first book that I finished, which was All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. I had about 100 or 150 pages left, so this is the first book we finished. Didn't really talk about it all that much, but I loved it. It was a five star. Go read this immediately. Other book that I started and finished was If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. I gave this book a 3.75. I really enjoyed it, obviously. I cried, but some of it was a little boring to me as i was saying i felt like this book didn't have a lot going on but i didn't mind i, I read it in like two days basically in one sitting because i read like most of it in one sitting so there's that so this was a 3.75 relatively good if you want to cry read it <laughs> then i started and finished scarred by emily mcintyre this book of four stars i loved it it was so much better than hooked in my opinion i think they had much more chemistry and I liked Tristan so much more than James. I finally figured out his name, James, um, in Hooked. And I thought this book was really, really good. Their chemistry, the tension, it gave me, if this doesn't convince you to read this book, I don't know what will, but it gave me Bridgerton season two vibes. And Bridgerton season two is the best season and they had the best chemistry, like on screen chemistry I think I've ever seen in my entire life. So if that doesn't convince you to read this, I don't know what will. Go read this immediately four stars loved it thank you emily mcintyre then as we know i got most of the way through i'm on page 370 of in a jam so i got most of the way through of this book i have about 100 pages left so i feel like it's gonna be a three three and a half star nothing too special but not bad so if you like all those tropes i would recommend maybe this one will 
be one of your favorites it just wasn't for me I don't know it just it was a little it was a mess but that's okay can't win them all so essentially I would say we read like three books because I read like 100 150 pages of All Roads Lead Here and that's how much I have left of In a Jam so I would say I read three books in 24 hours which I feel like isn't the best it's not the worst um but it's also not fast <laughs> I read three books in 24 hours so there's that um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more of my face that'd be lovely thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye